How's it going guys? This is Brain Dead, and I recently uploaded two different reviews, one for the Hydra and one for the Oculus Rift. If you actually watch the videos, you'll understand that a 2 grader could have done better than that. But here is the in-depth review of the Oculus Rift. Alright, so currently on Amazon, that's the cheapest place I'd have been able to find it was $399.99, like I said in my original video. Um, the way that the Oculus Rift works, um, here let me do a little disassembly really quick. Okay, so the way that the Oculus Rift works is actually, um, there's just basically kind of a uh, screen here that's inside of it. Let me turn the device on actually, so that you can probably properly see. Okay, so as you can see inside, there's pretty much just a screen inside of it. Uh, the way that the virtuality and the 3D aspect comes into play is actually the lenses for the Oculus Rift. Uh, I'm going to turn this off real quick. Alright, so the Oculus Rift, I believe depending, uh, also depending on when you purchase it, uh, comes with three different lenses. One lens set is uh, set up for nearsightedness, one lens set is set up for farsightedness, and one lens is set up for uh, kind of a, um, just normal vision. Uh, which for me personally, I have the glasses, so I had to play with the uh, I had to play with the lenses before I could find my uh, my correct vision, which ended up being uh, one of the lenses is the C lens, and I believe the other one is the uh, B lens for me. Um, just to kind of show that my eyes are there is a reason why I have the glasses. The uh, the Oculus Rift was. Uh, <clears throat> was successfully kickstarted in uh, 2012 and was shipped uh, in 2013. Uh, I remember my original video. I said that I couldn't find any data as to uh, when it was released, when it you know when it was able to be purchased, and everything like that. Uh, all I was able to find is the consumer edition is supposed to be released later this year or early next year. All right. So first off, we have the Oculus Rift and the control box for the Oculus Rift. Um, excuse my dirty desk, uh, I have a lot of wires and stuff like that and I just haven't been able to tidy it up lately. Alright, so the Oculus Rift is actually hardwired into the control box. Uh, on the back of the control box is a DVI port, sorry for the camera, I'm to try to get it to focus. Alright, so on the back of the uh, control box, there is a DVI port, an HDMI port, a, uh, a for uh, a uh, port for your uh, for the USB and a power supply port. Okay, so uh, the power supply port uh, should be fairly simple. You plug in; uh, it's like a little brick into your power outlet. Plug it in, and you're done. Uh, as far as the actual um, uh, the HDMI cable, well, with my computer, I actually had to get a uh, HDMI to DVI. Uh, adapter which is this this right here because um, my computer my uh, video card only has one uh, HDMI slot alright so uh, <clears throat> I bought this at uh, Best Buy uh, this is if you don't have a uh, two HDMI slots onto your, onto your uh, video card I bought this at Best Buy I think regular price is like $25 um, I thought about getting just a DVI Cable, but decided not to. Um, so yeah, uh, depending on your video card, you might be able to actually use uh, HDMI, and uh, you might have to get the adapter, or you might have to buy a new cable. I understand with the development kit, which is uh, the version that I have. Uh, there are, um, depending on when it came out, there were different things that came with the uh, device, um, such as. I got the HDMI cable and I've read that some of them came actually with a DVI cable and an HDMI cable. Um, it just really depends on the, when it was purchased. Alright, so when you purchase the Oculus Rift uh, developer kit, um, you're going to get a, a little piece of paper with it and this is where I have to do a huge, huge shout out to the Filipino Amigo. i going to leave a link and the description to his uh, his channel and his Twitch uh, his Twitch profile for you guys. He's the one who's actually supplied me 
with the Oculus Rift as well as the Razer Hydras. Alright, so the website is actually developer.oculusvr.com. Now, if you haven't registered yet, um, I do highly suggest that you uh, do register. It's really, it's a very quick registration. It's just pretty much like, you know, username, password, email, you're going to get a letter uh, in your email address. Um, pretty much saying, uh, you know, go to this link to activate your account. It's just the normal stuff, no big deal. I'm gonna let you guys do that here. You can pause the video right now. All right, so uh, once you're done with that, you wanna go to downloads. This is gonna take you to this page. All right, so when you get into the downloads, um, obviously there's some options for you. Uh, if you have a Windows computer that you're doing this on, uh, then obviously go to uh, Oculus SDK for Windows. Click download. I've already have all this downloaded and everything like that. So I'm gonna go ahead and go back a page. Um, I suggest getting the Oculus Unity Tuscany demo, uh, downloading the Unity 4 Pro integration. And if you are going to be a developer, get the Oculus UDK. It's the Unreal Development uh, Kit, I believe, is the full name for it. If I am wrong, I do apologize. It is a large file, though. All right, so once you have all that done, it's going to come in a zip file. You want to unzip those to uh, your destinated, uh, <clears throat> your destinated place, which mine just so happens to be local disk uh, UDK, and here is here is stuff for Oculus Rift. Um, what I went ahead and did was I actually created a new folder in my C called Oculus Rift VR. Here's where you want to, uh, you know, unzip everything. There's going to be uh, some setups to do. The tridef dash 3 d dash 6.0. Ignore that for now. Um, but this is uh, an item that you might have to download in order to play certain games. Uh, with the Oculus Rift, but I'm not going to get into that right this second. All right, so what you're wanting, what you're going to want to do, is you want to go to the Oculus SDK, go into there, Oculus Configuration Utility. Now, um, I don't have mine calibrated, but I'm going to show you how to calibrate it. Uh, it's actually kind of easy. The only reason that I haven't calibrated it is because there is a uh, known error but um, for some reason I think that I'm falling under that error yeah the actual error uh, states that if you're cl too close to a wall that you might uh, that might affect the calibration of the uh, oculus rift which kinda sounds weird like why would that even matter but stranger things have happened in the world so I guess walls are not Oculus supported. Alright, with the Oculus on, uh, what you want to do is uh, go ahead and click uh, Start. And the process is you pretty much want to keep the Oculus um, somewhat still while moving it around, if that makes sense, like moving it up and down, going left, right, uh, up, down. And I've actually done some research about the wall thing, where if you're too close to the wall, it'll uh, bounce off or something like that, and it just won't read it. The best way to calibrate it is on your head, of course, and I'm getting the error message. Yeah, so um, we're just going to ignore that real quick, okay guys? Hopefully the calibration will work for you. Um, if it doesn't, uh, well, go from there. Uh, let me get out of all of my programs real quick. So in order to uh, in order f to use the Oculus and use your monitor, you want to go to uh, you want to right click on your desktop. Okay. Um, now you want to go to screen resolution, and it's going to show you two different displays. Yeah. So we have the Rift development kit, and we and I have my 32-inch uh, uh, TV monitor here. 
And in order to use both of them at the same time, you want to go to multiple displays. And I, from what I understand, it, it's different depending on video card or something along those lines. For me, it says duplicate these displays. For someone else I was talking to, it said mirror displays. Um, all right, so once you do that, you'll be able to actually see uh, through the Oculus what you see on your monitor. All right, so since that is all set up for you guys, let's go into the world demo. Let's check this out, guys. Okay, so this is the Tuscany uh, demo. Uh, I hope you guys can see this pretty well. Um, can you use a mouse? Yeah, you can use a mouse, but it's not fun. Woo! Yeah, uh... Little fountain right here. Alright, so that kind of strip should be set up for you guys right now. Um, you should be able to jump into the games. Like I was saying before with the tri def uh, there are a couple of things that you may need to download in order to play certain games. Uh, recently, though, uh, Valve, as well as Steam, has set up a uh, BARRELS! Yeah, they set up a barrel. Anyways, they uh, set up a update to where if you have the virtual reality system like the Oculus Rift, you can get uh, really easy access into your favorite games like Half-Life 2, even Counter-Strike Source, and so on and so on. Now here we are back in the house. This looks beautiful. Um, as a little disclaimer and... Uh, you're going to hear this all the time. Use Oculus Rift in moderation. Do not just go five hours straight playing this. You know, it's not going to be fun after, like, the first hour. So definitely use in moderation. I'm loving this. Like, seriously. Huge shout-out to the Filipino Amigo. Uh, thank you so much, dude, for allowing, for allowing me and Brainhead Works to experience this awesome experience and I can't wait to get into some games with the Oculus Rift alright so thank you very much for watching this video guys hit the subscribe button down below for more hilarious hilarity from me, from me Branded and from Branded Works hopefully we're gonna have some more Branded reviews uh, some more real Branded reviews so hit the like button if you enjoy this definitely subscribe share this with your friends your family members your coworkers, your gaming buddies anybody that might be a game developer and is looking into uh, trying to create some new and exciting video games for the world to play and enjoy uh, definitely show them this let them know about the Oculus Rift let them know about Braindead Works I'll see you guys in the next video peace Slash fire.